it's Legionero back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. So I have deemed this clutch week. <laughs> so I have um, trying to get um, at least three clutch videos up. We'll see how it goes. This is number two. So we're looking pretty good. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get that third one up later in the week, but we'll see how it goes. Um, this one, another um, pretty easy, straightforward. This one has one really unique element to it. Um, I saw this idea on Instagram. I will link this person's um, information in the description box below. I will tell you the things that I use. Um, this one is... Um, this was in a foreign language, so I did try to um, convert everything as best that I could um, over to English. So if I got some things wrong, please, please forgive me. <laughs> I do, like I said in the other video, like to make myself um, pattern pieces <laughs> um, of everything so that I can make sure I get it right. I lost my pattern piece for the one that I posted on Monday. <laughs> um, so this is it. I just found it. I'm like, where, where did I, ha what happened to my pattern piece? <laughs> so for, for this particular one, um, I have a couple of things. I got my pattern piece. Yep. Which is, um, 9.5 by 5.5 I will put all of the measurements in the description box below and I cut out um, two main pieces and two lining pieces I also interfaced my main piece pieces with fusible fleece and I interfaced my um, sorry about the shaky cam I need to stop slamming stuff down on the table <laughs> and I interfaced my lining pieces with SF 101 so two main pieces, two lining pieces, two fusible fleece pieces, and two SF-101 pieces. I also um, grabbed um, one of my labels. I have two here because I lost this one. It was stuck to a pattern piece. <laughs> ah, silly me. I also made a card holder piece. This piece measures 6.75 by 9.5. Um, you do end up folding that in half um, because you want to make your card holder pieces. And I'm not going to lie to you. I struggled with the measurements for this card holder pieces. So my advice to you, grab a card and, and work it out. <laughs> um, now, in the video on Instagram, um, the um, artists who does this, I do believe that they do measurements on there. It was a struggle for me. I, I, I can't even, I can't even help you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so I just took my library card and I just, I just worked it out. I promise you, it took me a good forty-five minutes. So I, I just, uh, mm. Mm. anyway. <laughs> So I have that. Um, what else do I have here? I have an eight inch zipper. I did do some zipper tabs on it. Um, and I have a webbing piece. My webbing piece is just under 30 inches. You may not need one that long. Um, this was already, I just grabbed this out of my drawer. I didn't need, I didn't measure anything. I'm not even sure if they have measurements in the Instagram post. This was what I grabbed out of the drawer. I said, and I, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna work with it. <laughs> um, but anyway, like I said, these are not tutorials. I saw these ideas on um, Pinterest and Instagram and I just wanted to try them. So um, I think I have everything I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, I got all the things here. I'm going to set my zipper aside, this name tag aside, this webbing aside. Oh, I got some double-sided tape. That's just to hold the name tag aside when I get ready to use it. So what I'm going to grab right now is this card holder that gave me the blues. 
I'm going to set my main pieces aside. One lining piece aside. So I'm going to set this. Um, so I'm going to grab one lining piece and this card holder piece. So this was one whole piece. All I did was fold it in half and press it. And then mark where I was going to sew the um, card holder um, placement. Like I said, I'm so sorry that I can't even tell you how I did this. <laughs> um, I can semi try to show you, but I don't know if that's going to help at all. Um, so this is my lining piece and I'm just placing it there. Um, I did mark where I'm going to sew and I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and just sew where I marked. Um, true. This is not a difficult um, bag to put together. Um, now, if I were to do this, like try to make my own version of this, I would definitely do different measurements so I could have more precise card holder thingamajigs. Um, but what I did, I measured in, um, and I would say, if I had to guess, I would say this is an inch and a quarter. All right that I measured in from the edges. And then here was just the guessing game. I just took my library card and just kind of measured where it would, you know, go in easy in each slot. And hopefully I did it right. If it doesn't fit, then it doesn't fit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this to the sewing machine and just sew every place that I marked. Alright, so I'm going to set this to the side. So this is a main piece here. Uh, Alright, so I got my ruler. Um, so let me do this first. So this piece is nine and a half, right? Probably be on this side. I don't know if it really matters. <laughs> I'm gonna measure down about an inch, inch and a quarter. I'm gonna measure down. I'm gonna put this here. Inch and a quarter. I take a pin and pin this here just to hold it in place. Right? Inch and a quarter. I might need to put some more pins just to make sure it stays an inch and a quarter while I sew. And I'm going to stop it. Uh, about here right 
That's a half an inch, so a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to stop it at about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to put a pin about a quarter of an inch because I'm going to stop sewing about there. But I'm also going to take some double sided tape. I could probably take some double sided tape to hold that down. <laughs> Put my um, put some double sided tape on my name tag and put it somewhere here. I folded this in half to somewhat find the middle and put that there. I really hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to stick this here. All right. All right. So I'm going to sew this. So I'm going to sew this in place and then I'm going to sew this in place. And then I'm going to fold this back. This might be a little too long. So I need to fold this back, but also fold it in a way that is flipped like this. I know I didn't explain it well. <laughs> So when, you know, when it's, there we go. So I folded, I folded it back, but also folded it though. So it's like this. So I'm going to fold it back, but also fold this part back around. All right. And I'm going to sew that. Alright. And I'm going to sew it about. We'll say an inch away from. Um, about an inch away from. From this part. Don't sew this all the way down. Right. I'm, I'm not sure why. I'm just following the video. <laughs> Alright. And don't sew this all the way down because you're going to need this as your strap. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. Take this to the sewing machine and do all that sewing. <laughs>
pin. I'm going to see if I can just pin this. Hopefully I don't um, poke myself in the process. Because I'm known for poking myself. Uh, like I just did. <laughs> Don't, just don't forget that this is the top because this is where your name tag if you put you don't have to put your name tag if you have have those things that say handmade you can put that, that there um, but anyway this is the top I'm going to turn this towards me so I can see it better this is the top so this is where you're going to put your zipper um, right um, so this is the right side. This is the right side of your zipper. So you're going to put that face down. Make sure you even that out because you have your zipper. If you decide to put your zipper tabs on there, make sure you, you know, measure and even that out so it doesn't look wonky. And what I mean by, you know, measure that out, make sure you have even seam allowances here. Um, I'll turn it back around in a second. I just needed it here. So, <laughs> so I could see what I was doing. You put your zipper at the top. Always remember the right side of your zipper um, goes to the right side of your fabric. There we go. Now take your lining, one of your lining pieces, doesn't matter which one. And with this car holder, you can do it on both sides of your lining if you want to. Because I did cut out two lining pieces. I don't know what it is with me. Oh, place your lining with right side facing. With the right side facing down on your zipper so that your main piece and your lining piece are right side facing. Um, line it up. I know it may be a little difficult with that um, strap piece the way it is. Um, I have a hard time cutting one layer of fabric for some reason. <laughs> right, you're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew across, flip it open so that then your lining and your main pieces are wrong size facing, then you'll top stitch. You'll see me do it on the um, when I'm sewing. Right, then you'll come back and add your other two pieces to the other side of the zipper, just like we did in the other vid. side put on now we got to put the other side on and again just like the other video and I'm saying that just in case my battery goes dead <laughs> or if my SD card runs out I'm hoping to get both these videos on the same SD card but we're doing it just like we did the other video I'm not so much worried about the SD card as I am the battery. Make sure everything's lined up nice and neat. Again, you want to take extra care with this because of that um, strap piece that you have on there because it is bunching things up a bit. So you just want to make sure everything is nice and straight. But my batteries, take the lining piece, put it on the other side of the zipper. Also make sure that your um, car slots are going the right way. Uh, I forgot what I was saying before I said that car slots going the right way. Make sure your car slots going the right way. <laughs> my battery is going down quick. My SD card is... is um, pretty big but my battery I think I'm gonna have to stop and charge it after this particular video 
right? Take and sew down that edge and then flip it and top stitch. Open up your zipper and you're going to take your two main pieces, place them with right sides facing, your two lining pieces, place them with right sides facing. You're going to um, pin all the way around, leaving an opening in your lining. Take it to the sewing machine, start at one opening, sew all the way around, stop at the other opening. Um, and you'll use that opening to turn your bag. So when you know your cameras, you know your cameras. <laughs> as soon as I started talking about that battery died, that battery died. <laughs> All right, so um, I was able to finish up the clutch um, on the um, camera with the that was aimed at the sewing machine. Um, so I was able to finish sewing it, turn it to the right side um, and everything, get the lining sewed up. So here is the finished product. Got my label on it. Got the strap on it. So I think the strap could probably stand to be a little bit shorter. Um, so my strap was 30 inches. So maybe about 25 inches, maybe. Maybe even shorter than that, depending on, um, you know, how you want to hold it. So let's say, let's see. I'm seeing what about five inches if we take off about five inches. So if we take off about <laughs> I'll get it right here in a second. So this is about five inches. So if we take about that off, um, <laughs> this is what we'll have. So 
about a 25 inch strap, maybe, um, maybe more, depending on what you what you want. Um, so yeah, cute, unique strap. You can put handmade on here if you don't have your own label. Um, little zipper pouch, and then you have your um, card holders. I don't know if you can see that on the inside, but you have your card holders here on the inside. You can change the measurements, make it bigger if you want to. Um, my library card is going down in here. Um, oh yeah, this is nice. I like it. And again, I will link the Instagram of the um, of the person. I don't, I can't remember, but um, I was gonna I, I was gonna say whether they were. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I will link the person's Instagram <laughs> down. In my description box below they also have a youtube channel i will link their youtube channel in the description box below as well very talented there are a ton of videos on their instagram and their youtube channel um, i want to try a lot of different things that they have um, on their instagram and youtube channel and i want to make sure i give them credit for it as well i don't want to take anybody's ideas or designs um, but i think this is amazing um, if or when I post this on my Instagram, I will definitely tag them and give them credit for it. I think this is so cute. Um, what will also be amazing if you had like a different type of strap, um, a different color strap, um, multicolored strap with really cute fabric. Um, that will make this even better. Um, I like it. <laughs> so I'll link all the measurements and everything that I use minus the card slot <laughs> like i said that you're probably just gonna have to maneuver on your own the most i can tell you i did was i measured in from the ends um an inch and a quarter yeah that's the best i can do other than that you're gonna have to grab your credit card or whatever you use and and maneuver it from there <laughs> but again a really cute bag really unique strap idea um definitely give this a try question of the day are you going to um try this little clutch bag um because it's easy it's really easy um once you get the strap idea down and the car and you actually don't even have to do the card slot um idea um on the inside you can put a pocket on the inside a zipper pocket a regular pocket um, I just do the car slot because that's what um, was done in the video. And really, to be honest with you, even though I said shaky cam, I hit the camera. <laughs> um, I said it was difficult for me to measure it out. But to be honest, it's much easier than doing regular car slots. Much, much easier. Um, but anyway... Um, I can see me tucking that little bag in my my purse that I carry my purse because I carry a big huge fanny pack thing anyway um I forgot what I, I lost my train of thought but anyway that's my question of the day are you going to try that and like I said you don't have to do a car slot you can do a pocket you could you don't have to put anything in it if you don't want to it's just a regular clutch um pouch zipper bag thingy <laughs> the only thing that's um really unique about it is the strap so let me know in the comments if you um are going to give this a try so that's clutch number two <laughs> so we may or may not get a clutch number three this week it just depends um i need to charge my batteries i need on um, the sewing machine camera as well because that one um it was red and blinking, <laughs> so I need to charge that one as well. I need to download all the files to the computer um, and start editing because today is Sunday, so I need to get the first one up for tomorrow. Um, the third one is cut out, ready to go. Like I said, it's not a difficult make. It's just one thing that I have to figure out um, how to do. It's another quick and easy make, just that one. I'm probably making it more difficult than it really has to be in my head. Um, I think the most time is probably going to take editing 
the video but that one if i can get it done will probably won't go up till friday so I, w I will have a whole week to um get it um filmed and recorded uh, filmed and recorded <laughs> Um, filmed and edited and everything and I think I still have tomorrow because I, I don't start training until Tuesday so I think I still have tomorrow and I'm working early on I'm working early tomorrow because of the holiday um, yeah because of the holiday I'm working tomorrow I'm working early tomorrow I'm not working my regular shift so I can always do it tomorrow um, so yeah um, you you it's looking good for a third clutch. <laughs> I'm showing out for y'all this week. I'm showing out. I feel like I'm getting my, my sojo back. I feel like it's coming back. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm also hungry. So this is a good stopping point also. So good thing the batteries are going out. Um, so I'm going to go in here and make this spaghetti. I've been craving spaghetti. Um, the spaghetti sauce was in the cabinet every time I opened it like, hey girl, what you gonna do? <laughs> so it's good to, um, I don't physically see y'all, but it's good to see y'all this week. Um, hope you are enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying making them, um, doing new things, trying new things that I see on Pinterest. You know how we do on Pinterest. We save these things and they just go into the Pinterest abyss. <laughs> <laughs> on your phone <laughs> so it's good to get these things out all right i'm seeing some garment things on pinterest that i want to do now those things are a little bit more complicated because those those really you really have to go into your hack bag with some of those things so all right i might have to call up my friend faith and say hey faith i need to hack some patterns because she's the hack queen so we'll see how that goes all right I will talk to you guys later. Um, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one.